Hi, and welcome to Morning Coffee with Pizan Academy. I'm Deanna. Today I want to talk to you about a very beloved children's author who not only inspired me as a child, but also and as an adult. And this particular woman was born in 1866 in London and moved to the countryside. She moved up to Scotland and spent some time in the Lake District where she was really just enamored with the outdoors and the natural settings and the plants and the wildlife. She also had two pet bunnies who inspired stories, and she was very creative. She would go out, and while in the Lake District, she started identifying plants and doing a lot of botanical drawings, and just developed this love of nature and had this amazing imagination. And her and her brother, who was six years younger than her, would just go out and play in the outdoors and make up these stories about these little creatures. And yes, I'm talking about Beatrix Potter. This woman, not only as an author of these beautiful children's tales that really spark imagination and creativity and are just so beloved even today, over a hundred years later, is just an absolutely amazing woman in her own right. And so as a child, I would read her stories and we had pet bunnies and I really identified with Peter Rabbit. And my sister still jokes today, my older sister, about how many times she had to read the tale of Mrs. Tiggy Winkle or the tale of Mrs. Tuttlemouse. And I would just giggle and had so much joy and would just laugh every time she would say one of the names. And I love Beatrix Potter. And she is still very popular today. There are new books and maps of the Beatrix Potter universe that are being published, new illustrations. And it's just amazing to see how she continues to be popular. But what is it that makes her still popular? One, her stories are charming. They're timeless. They're these sweet tales about little woodland creatures. And a lot of times they have some morality to them. They have these little bits of this is how you should live. This is what you should do. This is what you should not do. That's what makes them timeless. They're enchanting. But let's talk about Beatrix Potter, the woman. As a young woman, she was known for her botanical drawings. And she was asked to go to Kew Gardens and study mushrooms and draw mushrooms. And so she had so many illustrations. In 1901, she wanted to publish one of her stories, The Tale of Peter Rabbit, and a publisher turned her down. So she didn't let that discourage her. She printed her own book, 250 copies she self-published. And they were so popular that the publisher came back to her and said, well, we'll publish your book. A few years later, she wants to merchandise. So she may be the first merchandiser creating little dolls and other things to go along with her stories. And so she wanted to create these things. She went to the publisher. Again, they turned her down. So she sewed her own rabbits and she sold them. And her entrepreneurial spirit and that drive to just do what she wanted to do and this love and this passion for this universe that she had created, no one was going to stop her. And that's what inspires me as an adult to keep going with my own passions and my own belief of the Pizan Academy and knowing that this is something that can bring joy and wonderful things to the universe. And it's something I have to keep at. So thank you, Beatrix Potter, for your amazing stories that got me through childhood that just delighted me and even delight me to today. And thank you for being a groundbreaking, really strong woman that can inspire me today. I'm going to go revisit a Beatrix Potter story today, and I hope that you revisit one of your most beloved stories from childhood sometime soon. If you're enjoying our videos, please like our channel, subscribe, share with your friends. We also have links to other social media in the comments below. Have a great one.